just outside the modern oasis, which is Abu Dhabi, surrounded by crystal clear waters, rivaling the most sought after dream destinations, is Ramhan Island. An exclusive waterfront community and the latest ambitious mega project by Eagle Hills. Hey guys, welcome to an extra special tour. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look around a seven bedroom beachfront villa surrounded by unparalleled tranquility and elegance amidst this stunning natural landscape. To say I'm excited about this tour is an understatement. So without further ado, let's just begin the tour. start the tour in the cul-de-sac as it is the early stages of the Ramhan Islands project which I'll talk a little bit more about later on in the tour. They've built three show villas and you can see they've spared no expense just by looking at the landscaping. I mean this place feels like it's already lived in. Now there's three villas you've got Glam, Bliss and Sky. We're going to take a look at Sky because it's the biggest one of them all. Now this is a seven bedroom, nine bathroom villa on an 8,080 square foot plot. Now what's great about doing a tour like this is that I actually feel like I'm taking you guys and showing you around my own home. I mean, I wish it was. Now, as we come up, we've got the garage on the right hand side. It's absolutely huge. I mean, you've got space for three cars. You can see the name on the exterior, Sky Villa, obviously. Now, as we come in, the scale of this villa feels massive. As we look at the exterior, you've got a combination of materials. There's the polished travertine and smooth stucco on the facade and a combination of granite and marble on the floors. You can see the marble has been continued on the terrace here in front of the first guest bedroom downstairs with that little seating in front. Now, either side of the home, there's walkways towards the backyard with the entrance to the service quarters on this side as well. As we move along, you've got this huge archway, the terrace from another one of the bedrooms upstairs, the skylight above us as well, which creates these awesome bits of shade throughout the whole morning. Now, I love how they've dressed this place. It truly feels like it's been lived in. Now, surrounding the front door is a glass with the wooden pivot door. Now, this opens with the ease of a finger. You can see how big it is. And as we come into the foyer, the first thing you see is that incredible view in the back. Now this feels like a picture frame here with the window stretching all the way up to the ceiling. It's actually not all windows. You actually have a sliding door here which you can open up during the winter with this little bit of seating here placed perfectly so you can enjoy that view. I mean, those sun lounges next to that pool in the back, really enticing right now. It's super hot outside. Now, in essence, we've got two wings of the home. We've got the living area and great room on one side and the dining and first guest bedroom on the other. Now, if you follow me this way, in front of the first guest bedroom is the powder room. Now this is one of two powder rooms downstairs. You've got the floating vanity with the countertops matching the white marble floors, the caller sink inside and that mirror above. At the back is the water closet, which has a glass door on the entry. Now, the next door is the first guest bedroom, which we saw when we came into the villa at the front. You have that terrace right in front. You've got the storage here on the side with the cabinets and shelving and the ensuite bathroom right opposite that. Now, all the bedrooms in this home are ensuite. You'll see that throughout the tour. Again, those white marble floors countertops matching that caller sink. I love the little details. Again, you'll see it throughout the home, how they've dressed this place up so nicely with the walk-in shower here at the back and that rain head above. Now, as we come into the bedroom, you'll see there has been a transition onto wooden floors. And with the windows at the back, there's so much natural light in this room. Now we've got this huge bed set up with these side tables either side matching the chest of drawers that are opposite with the chandelier right above. 
Now, all the bedrooms in the home have their own theme, which you'll see as we go further through the tour. We're back in the foyer area, which I wanna talk a little bit about. So you've got those double height ceilings with the viewing balcony, which is not actually a viewing balcony. This is the walkway that leads into the primary bedroom. So the primary bedroom is all across one wing, which I can't wait to show you later. Our next stop is the dining room, which has the dining table here as you come in, seats eight, I mean, again, beautifully dressed with that chandelier above. You've got the wooden panel here along this back wall with the push to open drawers underneath. You'll see that recess lighting underneath as well. Again, this room, so much natural light that we saw, even saw in the first guest bedroom. This is what I love about this home. And you'll see all these light tones throughout. And we've got this seating area here at the back with this unique chandelier above the coffee table right in the center. I love the design features on these with the TV setup right at the back. Now we've got a sliding door here which leads outside. Again, a little bit of seating so you can take advantage of that view. I mean, every time I look out onto that view, it really does take your breath away. And I mean, who needs a TV with a view like that? Now, I can't wait to take you guys outside to show you. Now I wanna take you with me through to the other wing of the home. So you get a bit of a feel for the layout. You'll see the staircase that leads upstairs. We go by that and we come into the great room. Now our first stop is the lounge area with the seating surrounding the coffee table in the center and another unique chandelier above. This is all looking onto the TV on that back wall with the base cabinet underneath. Now I told you there's a two powder rooms in the home. We've got the second one right here next to the elevator which leads upstairs. Inside, you've got the vanity stretching across the whole back wall. Those marble countertops matching the marble on the floors. And I love how it contrasts with the wood underneath. And lining the walls is a special linen wallpaper. Now I call this the great room because all these spaces are interconnected. Now even when you open these sliding doors, it's connected with the outside, which I'm gonna show you once we've toured the kitchen. The dining table seats eight and has the chandelier above, which matches the chandelier in the lounge area. Now as we come into the kitchen, you have the marble island as the centerpiece with another chandelier above. I love the unique designs of these chandeliers. And again, I keep speaking how dressed this home is. I mean, this is amazing. You've got the breakfast chairs right at the front here. Now along the back wall is some storage. You even got the fridge, dual fridge freezer combo built into the cabinets. On the opposite side is the induction cooktop and the convection oven with the extraction fan above. And what I love is how they've utilized all the spaces, like even above the extraction fan with those glass panel doors also breaking up those wood elements in the kitchen. Now, if you follow me around here, you'll see here is the dishwasher. And if you're a regular viewer of the channel, you know I love logic in kitchens. So you've got the bin or trash can right next to the sink. So if you're throwing stuff away, you can put it directly in the sink. At the back here is a separate entrance into the kitchen from the outside and a separate entrance into the service quarters, which has two beds and even its own ensuite. Now, heading towards the outside, I wanted to open these doors just so you guys can feel the in and out flow between the interior and exterior spaces. And I also wanted you guys just to get a glimpse of the view from there. I mean, this is incredible. You can see what they're trying to create with the waterways and the natural mangroves. And I said I'd talk a little bit about the Ramhan Islands project. So it is a 43 million square foot development area with 23 million of it being land and 20 million of it being waterways. And it's gonna include stuff like 1.7 kilometer retail promenade marinas. You can see the lifestyle that they're trying to create with these show homes. I mean, this is gonna be a dream place to live. But we're not actually gonna to go to the exterior through here. We're gonna go back through the dining area to the dining area outside, which is also connected by a sliding door. 
The dining table also seats eight. You've got art installation on the wall, which matches the design on the back of the chairs, but you don't really need art when you're looking out onto this incredible view. Now, if everybody wants to follow me this way, this is the walkway which leads from the front of the property. And if you look here as well, you'll see signs like this. And this actually labeled all the trees. We've seen like some banana trees, even like an Indian almond. And as we head towards the pergola, you'll even see a lime tree right here, which gives you a limitless supply of mojitos. Now, as we come in here, this is the outdoor entertainment area, I would call it. You've got the barbecue area at the back with the appliances all built into this stone marble countertop. You see the Beretti barbecue. And what's really cool is how they've given different elements to this counter. So you've got the wood, which actually hides the outdoor fridge, which I thought was a really cool feature. You've got storage all underneath here, even maybe a pizza going in the pizza oven and the sink right at the back. In front is the breakfast table or the barbecue table, as I'd call it, with the same design on the chairs that we saw in the dining area. Coming through is the outdoor lounge. You've got the seating at the back, all looking onto the TV. If you look just to the left, or right of it, you've got a sculpture on one side and that incredible view on the other. Also around the corner is the outdoor toilet and shower, so you don't have to step inside if you've been swimming in the pool. As we look at the exterior of the pergola, you'll see wood elements, which adds different dimensions to it. I mean, I love the design of this whole home and the outdoors. Now down here is the steps towards the beach with the dock stretching all the way out there. Now we actually came here for the opening event about a month ago. We arrived on this dock and as you're walking down, looking onto the home, it was such an experience. And we'll put a few clips in of how it looked like during the event. I mean, it was really cool. Now at the bottom of the pool is the sun loungers right in front of the jacuzzi. Right next to it is the pool stretching all the way down. You'll see the elevated platform with these sun loungers as you have at the bottom of the pool. Now as we walk down here, you'll see that boat going away. You can see the vibe of this villa. You'll see seating all dotted around as well. And especially in the mornings, because the sun rises on the other side, creates shade here. So this is the perfect spot to have a little espresso in the morning and chill. Now, as we head further towards the other side of the backyard, we go by, there's more of this landscaping and you'll see the seating from the dining area. In front are these steps leading to a small little grass patch, which I think is perfect to sort of do exercise or yoga looking out onto that incredible view. Now, finally, we're at the bottom of the backyard. What do I always say is my favorite part? The fire pit. So you have the fire right in the center, surrounded by the cushioned seating. Right behind it, you've even got a little sofa on a swing with the walkway coming from the front of the property. I mean, looking out onto that view, this is the ideal spot, especially as the sun sets, it goes right down the middle of the waterway. Looks incredible. Now that we've finished the tour of the backyard, let's head to the foyer and we'll head upstairs to tour the rest of the bedrooms. So now we're back in the foyer. Let's start making our way upstairs. You can see the staircase made of marble, that same marble that we've seen throughout the whole home. You've got the wood veneer banisters, which match the wood veneer on the second part of the staircase. Also, you'll see those metal and glass details. Now behind me, you'll see the windows as well, which allow that natural light to come in and keep this staircase well lit. Now at the top of the stairs is the landing. Now there's a corridor which stretches down the entire width of the home. And right behind you is the walkway over the foyer leading to the primary bedroom, but we'll get there once we've toured the rest of the bedrooms. At the top here, we've got some storage next to the elevator from the ground floor, which we saw by the powder room. Now our first door is the first guest bedroom up here, so the second guest bedroom of the home. You'll see the transition onto the wooden floors. The first door is the ensuite bathroom, which has the floating vanity and the walk-in shower at the back. And lining the wall on the entry is the inbuilt storage. And as you open the glass cabinet doors up, the recessed lighting turns on. And I spoke to you that every room has a theme. So this 
is a sports theme. You'll see the basketball jersey, there's a sports bag down there. I mean, the level of detail that they've gone through to sort of dress it in those themes. You'll see Jordan shoes, you'll see it in the rest of the rooms. It's really cool. Now, as we come into the bedroom, you've got a TV built into that back wall with the chest of drawers underneath. And you'll see the details. I mean, look at this basketball in the sports memorabilia box. On the opposite side is the bed setup. You've got the two bedsit chairs at the front, the sports poster above, and that chandelier above the bed. Now, all the bedrooms have a terrace, but some of them are joined together. As you can see, it stretches down the length of the two bedrooms. We've got bits of seating in front of each one. And as I come out here, I mean, those views, they just still take your breath away. And you're looking down at your own pool. You've got these sun lounges at the bottom. I mean, this is just paradise. Now, the next bedroom has a music theme. You'll notice the record player on the side tables either side of the bed. And you may notice how the door magically closed. Well, that's because there was a bee in here. It took us like half an hour to get this huge bee out. So we just closed the door. <laughs> now on the back wall is some more cap inbuilt cabinetry. Got the glass panel doors and the shelving onto the side. In the corner here is the ensuite bathroom. You've got a floating vanity with the wood elements underneath and the walk-in shower enclosed in glass. Now at the back of the room is the TV mounted on the back wall with the desk set up underneath. I love the material that they've used for furnishing this home. You'll also see dressing details like the Fender book and if it's not evident enough that this is a music room, we've got two guitars here. Now it's tradition in the videos to, if I see an instrument or a pool table or anything like that, I like to have a go. So it's been a while since I played the guitar. If you know it, please do sing along if you recognize it. That is my singing days over. No, we won't have any more of that. Right, now if you head across the hall to the next bedroom, this one has a motorcycle theme and in the corner of the room is the ensuite bathroom. That white marble throughout, wooden elements underneath the floating vanity and the walk-in shower at the back. Now on this side of the room, you've got the TV built onto the wall with the desk set up underneath. You'll see little details like the motorcycle made of Lego, the motorcycle books. And I love the unique design of the table because it matches the side tables either side of the bed. You've got the motorcycle post at the back and the unique chandelier. Now as it was on the other side of the home, we've got a terrace connecting these two bedrooms. The seating in front of each, with actually a little bit more space in front. Now, the next bedroom is what I would say has sort of a boho kind of traveler theme combined with luxury theme. Now you'll see why I say boho, because if you look at the side tables either side of the bed, it's those sorts of materials that have been used. Even the materials on the bed frame have that soft kind of texture that reminds me of barley a little bit. What's great from here is that when you wake up, you also have an ocean view through that little window. Now the desk setup, you've got the chair which matches the material of the bed frame, and you look at the sort of tones of the desk setup, also that boho kind of theme with the TV built into that back wall. Off to the side is the inbuilt cabinets. You've got the glass panel doors that open up, beautiful dresses inside, shoes on the shelves. I mean, I keep saying how well dressed this home is. And our final door here is the ensuite bathroom with the floating vanity and that walk-in shower at the back. Now, if we head out of the bedroom across the hall, it's the final bedroom before we go to the primary. As you come in on the right-hand side is the inbuilt cabinets. You open the glass panel doors, it's dressed with the kids' clothes. Now, this room has a kids' theme or a girls' kind of kids' theme. You'll notice the pink that we have throughout. In the ensuite bathroom, it's similar style. You got the floating vanity which stretches across the whole back wall. Even touches of pink on the posters which we haven't seen throughout the bathrooms. And of course the walk-in shower with that huge rain head above. Now the bedroom also has a kind of horse theme. You'll see the horse riding helmet on the desk setup, the wellies off to the side. 
you got the TV built into that back wall. Now opposite is the bed setup. You've got side tables either side and check it out. Have you ever seen a chandelier as unique as that? And of course, there's a terrace looking onto that view. I mean, I wish I grew up with that kind of view. Now I wanna take you with me down the corridor towards the primary bedroom, just to show you a design feature. On the walls either side here, you see they've used mirrors to extend this space even further. We haven't seen that before in this style of corridor, which I think is really smart. Now we're going across the foyer on the walkway. And again, we go by that picture frame view of the sea in the background. Coming into the primary bedroom, we're gonna go straight into the walk-in closet before we explore the bedroom itself. As you come in, you've got the automatic recessed lighting that turns on as you walk by it. You've got these shelves underneath. Now, again, I was speaking about how much I love how they've dressed it. They've dressed one side with women's clothes and the other side with men's clothes. So you can just get an idea of what it's like. You've got the tempered glass on the exterior of the cupboards. Now, opposite us is the ensuite bathroom where you've got the tempered glass covering the entrance to the walk-in shower. You've got that huge rain head above and it's wrapped in marble. The other door leads into the water closet and you've got the jewel floating vanity here with the mirrors above and the wooden elements beneath. At the back of the bathroom, you've got the walls wrapped in that linen wallpaper and right in front is the standalone tub. Now head with me towards the end of the corridor. We've got an exit onto the first terrace of the primary bedroom. If you remember at the start of the tour, we could see it from the front. Now this is above that first guest bedroom. You've got a little lounge bed out here, the umbrella, the vibes out here are impeccable. Even looking out onto the ocean. Now, if we head finally towards the primary bedroom, you can just feel how spacious it is. Now, I've not talked about the scents that we've had throughout the home. They've dressed this home up, but they've even put little scents all around. And in here, it's got a different one. It smells like a primary bedroom. I don't know if that's a weird thing to say. Now, on this side, we've got the day bed with a piece of artwork above. On the back wall is the TV setup with the cabinet underneath, the seat off to the side, and the bed setup right here at the back. You've got the bed seat in front, the chandelier above. I mean, those huge cushions, it feels super inviting. With this bit of shelving here at the back, you've got the recessed lighting to illuminate your bits and bobs and these shelves underneath. And of course, at the back, the master bedroom has its own terrace looking out onto the ocean where you've got these seats, have a little coffee in the morning looking out onto that view. Now that ends our tour of the bedrooms. We're gonna head downstairs now and wait for that sun to just about set. I want you guys to stay with me just so you can see how magical it is. I'll see you down there in a second. So as you can see, the sun has just about set, filling the sky behind and casting this golden glow across the sea and the pool. I mean, doing this tour has truly been a magical experience. And on that note, I wanna give a massive thank you to the Eagle Hills team. They've been so accommodating throughout this whole tour. And unfortunately, that brings us to the end of our tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed touring it for you. If you did, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon so you know when the latest video has been released. Now, I'll see you guys in the next tour.